Hello everyone and welcome to the Action Figure Atoria. My name is Mark Major. I'm a real big toy collector here in the Southeast Portland region of the United States. And um, yes, Shaka Zulu to everybody. Um, this is a show I do once a month called Catch and Release. Look at the production value here, folks. And this is where I, as a real big toy collector, take 10 items from my collection and I sort of um, scoop them back into the, uh, the pool of things people can get and collect and uh, personally enjoy. And so you're going to love all the fixings I got for today. It's very low dollar stuff, very $10 action figure stuff ranging all over the place. There's a kind of a home run at the end as well. So everybody strap on the leather. Hold on tight. So the rules of engagement are pretty simple. Um, I go under the name Coolbots on eBay. It's got a Z at the end. That's how you know it's, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to follow, that's great. Also, if you make a purchase and you want to double check that it's me, Coolbots. Uh, the second thing is that if you buy something from me, let me know in the eBay transa transaction notes that you watch the show and I will make sure that you get a very special tchotchke. Now, some people have said, well, what, what are you talking, what is that? Well, let's cut over and uh, at my live cam of um, this month's tchotchke offerings. Check it out. So this is the, uh, the table here and here's... Uh, pile of stuff and uh, all those things could end up in your very uh, very special order you might want something like this people you might want something uh, you know it's gonna be worth it to buy something make sure it happens all right let's go to item one. Oh, the third thing I forgot to mention and uh, it's probably the most important Dutch auctions. When I do buy it nows, if nobody buys it after a while, I drop the price by some incremental amount. People watching it, they see it go down, they're like, no, no, no. Eventually, that's right, you, you are the owner. Let's cut over to the first dog. We've got some $10 items going in. This is the first one. Spider-Man. Remember Spider-Man? I think this guy is 5.5 inches. This is Toy Biz 1995. Now, originally he had a kind of a web thing that came out, came out the hand and you pulled it back with a string that comes out the back of the show. I don't got that's why it's 10 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we got some Spider-Man, some Toy Biz out of the uh, picture. Let's move on to this. Sonic the Hedgehog in red. Check it out, folks. I believe this is a... I think this is a Jax brand uh, Sonic the Hedgehog action figure has articulated limbs. Do I have it here? I think it's right over here, people. Let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, see? It's got the arms go up and down. Legs individually, you can pose them. You can do all sorts of, you know, you can do that thing, the contrapasta with them. 10 bucks, $10, okay. Everybody loves R. Here we go. Pokemon. Uh, Jesse and James. I'm not familiar with the series. I ended up with this in a bag of stuff. Keeping a lot of the other stuff, but getting rid of this figurine. $10. Why? Why not? It's a good, good even number. And uh, if you're into this kind of Pokemon, Jesse and James thing, you're going to want this. Let's move on. Also in the $10 range, this is a six inch figure. This is Princess Peach from some kind of a, um, I think it's the Super Mario Brothers uh, movie, the animated movie that came out either, I think it was last year. Anyways, this is actually a really good figure. It's got great articulated joints. It moves really well. It's got that goofy expression. It's all kind of pink and white. Put it with your Gwenpool, right? Put it with, um, you know, put it with your RC from the Transformers also. If you buy this, and I think someone will, if you buy this and you mention the show, so yeah, I watched the show, I picked this up, 
I will include the pink shopping cart. Even though it's not really to scale, it's a little big, you will get the pink shopping cart, but only if you purchase and you mention. Otherwise, I don't know. All right, this guy, micro figure. This is uh, some sort of um, Gundam Defender line of little kind of 2.5 inch guys. And uh, he's got very, 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 very tiny articulation, if any. In fact, it's kind of this, but there's a blue one you can get and you can get this guy. There's an 01 and this is 02, 9.95. I'm not afraid to drop the price on this also because he's a tiny little guy. And you, Feels weird spending 10 bucks, I understand. So let's move into Zords and Megazords and all things Power Rangers Megazord. These are, um, and I forget the year, I should look them up. These are a couple of arms to a uh, Power Rangers figure that starts off as just a big giant, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And then these things come in as the arms and the Rex uses his existing legs. So instead of being like a five piece, build a giant, you know, composite. This is only a three piece and this is the two arms for it. And we're gonna do this. We're out of the $10 range, we're up to 12 bucks on this. But I think secretly we know this is a $10 item, but we're gonna start 12 because, you know, someone might need just these two things. All right, $15, we're going up. This is from the Ninja Turtles universe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is called a Ninja Guard. I forget the year. I feel like two, either 2001 or 2011, something like that. There's a one in there somewhere. Anyway, six inch figure looks cool next to other six inch figures as just a cool background guy, uh, despite the fact he doesn't move very much. But I think we're gonna go 15 because he looks particularly badass and I think people like badass. All right, we've got four more of these amazing deals to go. I think everyone can feel the excitement when we get to the $20 range. That's right, some more mega zording stuff. Anyone here who collects the Imagine Next line, you are going to be the next generation of the great collectors and you're gonna to wanna to start early. You're gonna to wanna to get the Imagine Next Power Rangers and you're gonna to wanna to get the Battle Charger armor for each figure. I have a set of all four and I think at an even $20, five bucks each, I think I think that's a steal. I think that may be the first thing to go, personally. Um, but who collects Imagine X? One day, everyone. That's my prediction. Okay. Um, also in the $20 range, yes, 1995 Kenner Gargoyles. These three figures, which includes this guy, some sort of uh, grandpa dancer, uh, this guy who looks like he is both over medicated and under medicated and this thing you get all three of these cats for the $20 including whatever this um, flying harness rig is don't want it goes to you you get it okay closing in on a killer this could be 20 or 25 not sure does anybody remember this character, all right? These are three of these Doc Ops from McDonald's. They're actually pretty cool. All the tentacli move on them. The arms move. Um, I think the head moves. I think the chest moves. I don't think the feet do anything. It just stands there. They're not bad. So three of them, 20, 25, 20, 20. Take both. All right, big closer. Everyone is waiting for this. Don't blame you. Spy Kids, 2002. Really cool little submarine. And uh, you can put two Mini Mates figures in this. It's a little big for Lego, but Mini Mates fits in there perfect. Look at that. That is a cool ride, people. This is like a little... Here, I got it over here. Let me grab it. This is a cool thing. Check this out. It's, look, it's about this big in your hands. Yellow, red, right? It's got a kind of a gate door that flips open, right? It's also got some kind of a weird flap in the back, right? Um, it's a rollback toy, so it's got friction. You pull it back and then it goes, right? And uh, there's a battery compartment. I bet you if I replace the batteries in it, the lights would do something. What would they do? Don't know. But 
here's the best thing is you can throw you can throw one of your mini mates in here or two of your mini mates it's a two-man sub and uh, check it out man. they uh, they roll around no problem in this thing so this is one of the probably the cooler uh, cooler pieces that you cats are gonna see leaving the collection. See, is there more pics of it? Yeah, see, this is with the dome closed, open little flaps, etc., etc. Cool piece. So, um, those are the 10 items. I think we all know that they're pretty much all winners, but that last dog, the uh, this toy, $40, and the ultimate Mini Mates vehicle of all time, I'm calling it. I almost kind of hope nobody buys it. I'm just going to troll it out there for a little bit and see if there's any hits. If nobody wants this thing, um, it's probably going to go permanently into the collection and may even get may even get kind of a recycle repaint. Don't know. It looks actually it, it kind of looks as about as cool as you're going to make it. So thanks to everybody who made it this far into the show, catch and release. It's a pretty awesome show, and uh, you know, stay charged, folks. <laughs>